Hi and happy Friday. Welcome to the blog. My name's Dwayne and today I wanted to talk about a quote that I have uh, I've recently found. Um, I want to read this to you. It's a really interesting quote on living your life in an intentional way and uh, kind of some guidelines to follow in doing that. Uh, there's There's been lots of um, posters that I've seen that have this kind of stuff in it, but this is a really concise way to uh, to sum it up. And it's from Marianne Radmasher. Uh, I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name, but uh, I'm going to put it in the description so that you can see this quote. The quote goes, live with intention, walk to the edge, listen hard, practice wellness, play with abandon, laugh, choose with no regret, appreciate your friends, continue to learn, do what you love, and live as if that is all there is. And I really like that quote because uh, they're really simple things to do to uh, to create the life that you want. Um, uh, being grateful for the blessings that you have around you, continuing to learn so you have more things to uh, to have in your toolbox to make life happen the way you want it to, and to be grateful for those things as well. Laughing, I think, is key to uh, to getting through the tough things that we go through, and uh, and living like like that's all there is. I, I think that's great. If you live life like you're not going to get another shot at it. Um, you can actually accomplish a lot more in your life and have experiences in your life that, that might be surprising to even you. And, uh, and this really pertains to what's kind of going on for me lately. Uh, I set an intention, uh, quite a while ago that I wanted to speak. I wanted to, uh, get up in front of a crowd and, and tell my story in person and, uh, and that's something that a lot of people would rather die than do, but it's something that's really core to me and, and really, really important to me. And an opportunity just kind of fell in my lap a few days ago that, uh, that I wasn't really expecting. And, uh, at the end of July, I'm actually going to have that opportunity to get up in front of a, a fairly good sized crowd and, and tell my story and, uh, and encourage people to, uh, to look for um, their own story and what's really important that has shaped them. And uh, the, uh, the theme of my talk is going to be waking up to possibility. And that's something that happened to me a while ago, and I've talked about little parts of that a lot. But I'm really looking forward to, uh, to this opportunity to get up and share um, how I got to where I am and, uh, and to the point where I am looking for possibility and and new experiences, and my perception of what I could do in my life is considerably larger than it used to be. So I'm really excited about that, and uh, and I'm going to do the very best that I can. Uh, I'm going to do it intentionally. I'm going to uh, I'm going to give the best talk that I can, and and be really intentional in in sharing what lessons I've learned to the people who are ready to, to hear them. So intention, setting goals, setting those intentions really does work. I don't know how it works, whether it's uh, talking to our subconscious mind to, to be on the lookout for those opportunities, or it's something more spiritual, uh, drawing those things to us or having them bestowed on us. I don't know what it is exactly, but, uh, but it does work. It, it does bring those things into our existence and it's really exciting. So live with intention and, uh, and, and really put those, those big dreams that you have out there and, uh, they'll definitely show up. I also have found that if I set an intention for tomorrow, tonight, before I go to bed, uh, whether it be uh, accomplishing something or finishing something or starting something or seeing something or having something show up in my life, uh, it's it's more likely to show up tomorrow if I set those intentions. So I encourage you to do that too. Uh, make a to-do list for tomorrow, something that's short with your key things that you want to get done. Be intentional about how you how you live each day of your life. And uh, you might find that your life changes quite a bit. That's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Share it with the people who you think might find value in it. And subscribe to the channel so you know what's coming up next. I do try and put out two videos every week. Uh, on Tuesdays, I try and do my uh, Walk to Remember video series where I talk about my family's journey through postpartum depression, what that taught me, 
and uh, what I was able to utilize out of my toolbox from the skills and wisdom that I'd gained prior to that time. And Fridays I do this, my video blog, where I talk about the things that are important to me at the time. So again, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.